Woo! Hey everyone, this is Daryl from Crypto Daily Trade Signals in the house, guys. And it's a great time to be alive, guys. And yeah, we're seeing, uh, you know, the markets are coming back a little bit. Uh, we're seeing mixed uh, mixed green, mixed red. And, uh, you know, in this video, we're going to talk about the Elon Musk. Uh, just said a whole bunch of things about crypto. And I think this is really positive. You can see that Elon Musk is still showing up and showing out every day. And he's really behind uh, crypto. He's supporting crypto. And he knows that crypto is the future. And he's also calling out some of the regulators as well and saying, you know, you guys just have to back off from the regulation and uh, you know this is really bullish news he's also calling out China as well and uh, this and that so we're going to jump into that we're going to jump into what Elon Musk says we're going to jump about I mean, what's the future of cryptocurrency uh, we're going to talk about uh, some of the regulation fund that's coming out we're also going to talk about some of the huge Doge utility and some of the catalysts that are coming out for Doge right now and uh, you know right now you guys shouldn't be panicking September is almost over guys we're seeing that uh, Bitcoin is going to close around $43,000 exactly exactly as the OG predicted the Ric Flair in the house, the crypto love in the house, the ice ice baby of crypto in the house. And, uh, you know, uh, we're going to see Ethereum closing uh, around about uh, 2900 exactly as I predicted. I also told you that we're going to see uh, Dogecoin uh, closing around about $0.20 cents as well. So, remember, this uh, this uh, video is not financial advice. It's just an OG in the house uh, expressing my opinion. This video is solely for educational purposes only. Remember, you got to do your own risk management. That's so important. Again. Do your own risk management. It's your money. It's not my money. And you got to make sure you use a secure your assets using two factor authentication on any of the exchanges where your crypto lives guys so guys you know it's the end of the month September is almost out of here and I keep telling you that October November is going to be really huge guys for crypto and it will be you know we're probably good to expect a, a huge uh, FUD storm coming soon guys huge FUD storm on the way because this is going to be the last chance for the whales to manipulate and shake you out of your coins so guys don't lose faith those going in the moon. So don't lose faith, guys. Don't lose faith. And remember, the OG is working for you. Don't lose faith, guys. And uh, you guys are going to be well rewarded if you guys just have diamond hands and uh, hot all, guys. And you can even do some uh, dollar cost averaging. I think uh, Bitcoin is still pretty cheap. Dogecoin is pretty cheap. It's still under 20 cents. And we're actually going to take off in October, guys. And, and gals, and there's a lot of catalysts out there. So let's jump into the news right now. Let's jump into the news. So let's get it, guys. So, with that being said, guys, go back and watch all my other videos. We got Dark Prediction. This really scares me. And then we have our latest uh, video that just came with that, Extreme Fear. We talk a, a whole bunch of stuff that you guys should really know. And not only that, it's a real pump-up video. It's going to cheer you up. It's going to make you uh, uh, make you positive. It's going to knock some sense into you guys, too. Because I know a lot of you kind of like, you know, uh, a lot of the newbies out there, the noobs out there, you guys are not feeling so positive right now. You guys are feeling pretty negative. You're becoming Debbie Downers, almost salty Debbie Downers. And we can see that, you know, uh, when when people start getting negative in the comments, we know that uh, people are starting to panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't buy into fear, guys. There's a lot of fear out there. And uh, guys, don't forget to smash the likes. Subscribe, baby. Do right now, guys. You want it. I know you want it. And remember, if you don't like this, uh, if you don't like this content, don't watch. And if you want to hit the dislike button, that's totally up to you, guys. Totally your choice. Whatever floats your boat. But uh, remember, keep the comments respectful. Be respectful. Show maturity and show your age on the channel, guys. Don't be, uh, don't be just making crazy, uh, crazy comments. Nobody likes it. We don't need it, guys. So you can see right now. Now that the fear and greed index right now is at 20 we're extreme fear so you guys need to be doing the opposite of what the market is doing and this is a huge time to be dollar cost averaging bye 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 as much as you can this is not financial advice this is what i'm doing i'm picking up as much as i can i'm gobbling up all the old coins and i'm picking up some more bitcoin and, and, and i'm i keep i keep picking up doge because we're going to see that doge has a whole bunch of utility a whole bunch of great stuffs coming in pretty soon and we got this uh, verifone uh, verizon these uh, pos terminals that are going to start to accept uh, crypto for everywhere and we're going to see that you know most mainstream merchants are going to accept crypto or fiat guys this being uh, backed by BigPay so you know you can use BigPay credit card right now that's uh, linked to uh, cryptocurrency to buy anything so that includes Dogecoin, Bitcoin, whatever whatever you guys like so when people say you can't buy anything with crypto not true I mean I even got a, a BlockFi credit card that's linked to my BlockFi account and I use it to, and I use crypto so you know it's there, it's there, but a lot of people don't know about it. So let's take a look at the pre-market action right now. So we can see that the pre-markets for the U.S. is looking pretty positive. We got the Dow up, we got the S&P up, we got the Nasdaq futures up. So that's okay, guys. That's looking pretty good. We got uh, so that's looking PG Keen, pretty positive. So some other news that's happening right now. We can see that right now there's huge news, but many don't realize adoption is happening much quicker than anyone can imagine, and that's true. Within a few months, you'll be able to spend Dogecoin, and they will be really on-chain crypto transactions using Doge. Some of the some using your Dogecoin gives it utility and makes it a true currency. So you're going to see that we're going to see huge, huge adoption coming pretty soon. And this is huge news, guys. This is really positive. You know, 
within the next few months you'll be able to spend your doge at these uh, known brands mcdonald's taco bell burger king domino's whole foods amc theaters american eagle outfitters macy's and as you guys know and i talked about i mentioned uh verifone has over 600,000 customers in 150 countries with 10 billion transactions annually they will be real on-chain crypto transactions the payment experience will be very seamless and when checking out pull up pull up your crypto wallet and scan your code that's it so in fact you're going to find that uh it's going to be convenient, it's going to become seamless, and it's going to become an amazing catalyst. And as we have more transactions going across the blockchain, more demand, you're going to see that prices are going to go up. This is a, this is a crypto revolution. This is a cultural revolution. We're changing the way we bank, guys, the way we deal with money. And, you know, the big banks are scared. They're running scared. And that's why we're seeing all of this regulation, regulation, regulation everywhere. And this is what... Uh, this is what uh, this is what Elon Musk had to say about all this regulation. Crypto is impossible to destroy. And you guys can't stop it. Crypto is like, you know, a freight train going 200 miles an hour. You can't stop it. You can get out of the way, but you can't stop it. But it's going to continue going, going, going. So this is your financial freedom, my financial freedom. This is a great time to be alive. Doge going to the moon, guys. Doge going to the moon. And crypto the moon. So, you know, the, the decentralized nature of cryptocurrency makes it a big challenge for the Chinese government, uh, Elon Musk is saying. And that's why we're seeing that the Chinese are, are pushing back on crypto because they want, they've got their own cryptocurrency right now and they don't want anything else to interfere that as global regulators continue to scrutinize the cryptocurrency industry tesla ceo elon musk has expressed support for crypto calling it indestructible yeah it's indestructible regulation is going to slow it down but it's not going to stop it guys it is not it, it is not possible to i think destroy crypto but it's possible for governments to slow it down i keep saying that down to its event Musk said at the cold conference in california cnbc reported on tuesday yes regulation can slow it down but if you slow down the regulation, if you slow down crypto through regulation, what you're going to do is people will always find a way to find a way to use crypto, to get crypto. So at the end of the day, it's just going to uh, hamper those countries that overregulate, and it's going to put the kibosh and it's going to slow the economy down. Because in the future, blockchain technology is going to be the leading financial system of the world. So, and then Elon also was asked, I suppose cryptocurrency is fundamentally aimed at reducing the power of centralized government. And that's the thing. Cryptocurrency is decentralized. So it reduces the power of centralized governments. And that's why a lot of governments, they don't like it. They're scared of it. And they think that they're going to be losing power. And basically, it's going to, it's just, they don't like it. So must know that adding, they don't like it. He also suggested that the latest Chinese crackdown on crypto is likely to have something to do with currency significant uh, electricity generation issues i mean i don't kind of get that and i kind of don't believe that because all the miners are out there electricity is there or not and uh, so despite must not consider himself a massive crypto expert the tech mogul stress regulators should not try to slow down cryptocurrency adoption when asked whether the united states government should be involved in regulating crypto must said i would say do nothing and i agree they should do nothing guys because you know I don't, I don't like it when governments tell me what I can buy, when I can buy it, and who I can buy it from. You know, we're all adults, we're all mature individuals. And if I want to, if I want to put my money on Binance or something else, and and I lose money, that's my fault. I need to do, be responsible for my own actions, guys. But you know, having the Fed coming in there and saying you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't do that. I mean, you know, what kind of society are we living in? A totalitarian society? Come on. We all want to be able to be responsible and make our own decision. Sure, I've made bad decisions in my life. You know, when I first started in crypto, I, I lost money. You know, I put crypto and, uh, you know, in the wrong places and sometimes I lost. But I learned. I learned. I learned. I learned. And uh, now I'm here what I am. And crypto is fulfilling. Crypto is financially financial freedom and you know I make more money uh, in crypto now and crypto is every part of my life you know it pays for my housing it pays for my uh, property investment it pays for my hotels it pays for everything guys so crypto is here to stay guys and I love crypto and I love you guys so some other news that's coming out right now you can also see recently it was a, a huge uh, 9.2 9.2 million dollar transaction that went from an unknown wallet to a wallet so you can still still see people are moving buying and accumulating uh not only dogecoin but all other cryptos across the board guys so you're seeing you know this is from william clemente and he's a super smart on-chain house he says price is down over 5k in 30 days what meanwhile whale holdings have grown 37,000 btc so you know, even though BTC is down 5K, we're still seeing that whales are still, are. meanwhile, whales are holding, have gone up by $1.6 billion. So whales are still accumulating. And a lot of the retail investors, you guys don't get it. 
they are whales are still accumulating. They have accumulated the 1.6 billion in the last 30 days. I repeat it. The whales have accumulated 1.6 billion in the last 30 days. So guys, stop panicking. Stop wetting the bed. All of this, you know, end of the month FUD to drive the prices down because the whales are gobbling, gobbling, gobbling more, more coins. And they're taking it from you, from you, from you. So stop panicking, guys. Do what's going to the moon, guys. You know you want it. And uh, some other news that's coming out right now get that out of there is the dreaded infrastructure bill with crypto provision might not pass thanks to unlike uh, so we're seeing that you know we're seeing that uh, you know a lot of the dams as I told about they want to add uh, you know some of the dams they want to add about 4.2 trillion to the infrastructure bill and other people don't want it and you know it's going to be this whole in-house fighting and I, and I tell you this um, infrastructure bill is actually if you think about where's all the money going to come for this infrastructure bill, where's it going to come from? Well, the Fed is just going to hit the printing press. I told you that. And when they do that, it means that the value of dollars going down, to the down, down. So, you know, and uh, it means that the dollars are going to go down by an average about 15 percent, guys. So, you know, this is really not good, right? So some other news is coming in right now. Tether scores a win in, in class action case as court dismisses RICO claims. So that's really good for the crypto space that Tether has won the case because if Tether, if Tether was found guilty of uh, RICO, and remember, uh, most a lot of the cryptocurrency pairs are with Tether, not UDC. And this, if they had lost this case, it could have caused the whole house of cards to come down. So that's really bullish news, guys. So you should, guys should be really psyched and really pumped about that. Some other stuff that are coming out right now, you can see that, you know, long-term holders have absorbed 2.28 million Bitcoin from the spring rally now, now sit at a net unrealized profit of 62%, lowest uh, since uh, November 2020 and the why we're seeing that the realized profit is down is because a lot of the new coins are become hodling and a lot of the new coins have been bought at a higher price so we can see that here 62 percent of the all Bitcoin holders are in profit right now and one of the reasons why this has come down and it's the lowest it's been since uh, 2020 is because the number of Bitcoins that were bought over 50k have been quite huge and these are new investors but they're deciding to huddle 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 so long-term holders are at their lowest net profit since November uh, 4 2020 and once again that is because they bought the Bitcoin at a higher price at 50k and that's why we're seeing less unrealized profit and they bought at 50k and they're still hodling because they know that Bitcoin is going to be going up and up up we can see a hundred thousand K Bitcoin coming in this is not financial advice guys so this is really bullish news some other good news that's coming out right now you guys know about this I keep saying I'm going to keep showing you this every video you get tired of it we're going to see 135k we're going to see 63k and I did call it I did say that we're going to see 43k in September and Bitcoin is exactly at 43k right now let's take a look at that so Bitcoin is at 43 43,226 so I called it uh, plan B called it and 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 we've only got today is the last day in September so Bitcoin is going to close and hit the plan B target so if if if, if you know plan B was right he, he nailed it in August he nailed it in September so I'm pretty sure he's gonna nail it in in October so this is bullish guys this is bullish the writings on the wall it's right in front of your eyes guys it's right in front of your eyes Bitcoin is trading at 43,384 and it's exactly where plan B said it's going to be. So this is really bullish news. Let's take a look at uh, the uh, Bitcoin on the weekly. It's at 43,223 and it's just gingerly below my 21 day e EMA guys. So this is not good. I'm sure that the uh, the the FUD, the FUD monsters, the FUD whales, the FUD, the FUD machine is going to capitalize on this and they're going to start spreading FUD and and expect the FUD to continue to the first week of, of October guys. Expect it, expect it, expect it. Guys, let's take a look at Doge house doge and how doge right now is trading at uh, 20 zero two three cents and we're painting some green guys and that's pretty good get that out of the way and right now doge is up almost 1.05 percent so we're starting to see things come back and look at the volumes the volumes are coming in really really good so i think that you know we're looking pretty good guys and i think uh bitcoin is going to explode guys as i said you know we can take a look again at bitcoin and you can see we have this descending triangle we've broken out past this is the w pattern of form on the four hour we're up above the neckline and uh you know if we if we measure the top of this 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 structure here from the top of the wedge to the bottom of the wedge right here and if we have a breakout if we have a measured breakout from here that is going to take us up minimum 
if we break out, it's going to take us up to 50,000, guys, guys and gals. So 50,000, absolutely incoming. So stop panicking, stop worrying about it. Stop being recognized. Just go to the moon, guys. You're going to love it. I love it. Uh, so let's take a look at Ethereum in the house. So Ethereum right now is looking pretty good, guys. Ethereum went as high as $3,000. It got and uh, it got rejected, and it's uh, trying to retest the $3,000 level. And uh, and uh, Ethereum is trading at 2,981. Now, I did predict that we're going to close at 2,800. So if we get above that, that's pretty close, guys. We're pretty gingerly close. So my prediction is it's pretty accurate guys so hopefully we can uh, get past this if we keep butting ahead, if we keep butting our head against this three thousand dollar level we will break out soon we have this whole descending triangle here so we've got some major support at uh at uh, 2800 25 and uh we will be blowing past three thousand dollars when america opens up because you can see that the the pre-markets are looking pretty positive so with the pre-markets looking pretty positive in america this should hopefully take uh crypto up to the moon guys so this is looking pretty positive let's take a look at card on the house cardano is uh, you know it's uh, got some major support two bucks right now cardano is uh, trading at two dollars and ten cents so it's looking pretty positive it's got some overhead resistance at two dollars and uh around two dollars and 17 cents is where we got some uh, resistance i think we're going to be able to get back up there and uh, it's just a matter of time guys so october and november is looking pretty bullish and i keep showing you this over and over again but keeping in mind this guys october september is, uh october november december is going to be bullish we're going to get there guys keep in mind history doesn't repeat itself at often rise don't panic don't panic guys and everything is looking pretty peachy keen so let's take a look at uh Solana in the house. Solana right now is trading $138. It's kind of going sideways today, and it did uh, it did break past uh, my $141, $140 line in the sand, but we got rejected again, and we're going to attempt to uh, break past that uh, $140 resistance level soon. And once we and once we get up into this zone, and we keep above this zone then it's going to be very easy for us to retest 154 dollars so if you're holding solana guys don't panic Go ahead, diamond hands and we're going to get the promise land at the end of the end of the year guys at the end of the year the promise line incoming so we're looking at avalanche as well avalanche is uh, trading at 66 dollars and 93 cents and on the four hour it painted a high today of uh, 68 dollars and it's got a little, it's been rejected a little bit but it's climbing back on up guys so definitely we're going to see 200 250 dollar uh, so long uh, to avalanche coming in guys so let's take a look at the market marks and let you get out of here so right now we can see the uh, total market cap is 1.9 trillion guys and uh, the, the volume is like 66.95 billion guys volume is a little bit light that's why we're not seeing uh, we're seeing slow moving but nothing really going to the moon guys and a bitcoin dollars is still too high for my liking it needs to come down to 41.74 percent guys let's take a look at the market marks in the house guys so right now the market uh, is looking at uh, bitcoin is up 3.44 percent so things are starting to steam back slowly slowly guys and uh, bitcoin is at 43,208 and exactly as plan b predicted exactly as i said it where it's going to be and we're seeing that uh, ethereum is up almost also four percent and that's at 2,978 and that's also looking pretty good ada is up 2.41 percent uh and that's at 211 and also we're seeing uh, bnb is is screaming back at 11.45 so that's pretty good. We're at $377 right now. And Solana is up just slightly at $138. And uh, Polkadot is up 3.21% at $28. And Doge got, right now is up 1.88%. So everything's looking pretty green. Avalanche is doing okay at 66. Luna is also coming back at 35. And things are looking pretty good. Atom is still down. Matic is coming back. Uh, what else are we going to look at? Vet is coming back, guys. And uh, look at Pancake. Pancake is also coming back, guys. Check out Pancake. Check out the uh, the syrup pulls. You're going to love it. I'm going to love it. So with that being said, guys, don't forget to go to my Twitter and uh, follow me on Twitter, guys. And to check out my, uh, we got uh, 2,389 people on Twitter. Follow, follow, follow. And if you're not getting uh, notifications, you can do them right here by following. And don't forget to smash the like, subscribe. Do it right now, guys. And if you don't like this uh, content, you don't watch it, guys. Just don't watch it. So whatever floats your boat, guys. So subscribe, BYP. Do it right now. And don't forget to check out every one of my descriptions in the bottom of every video. This is not financial advice. Check out, uh, you know, become a Patreon member. Become a coffee. Buy a channel coffee. And uh, guys, remember, all of this, including become a channel member, all goes to charity, guys. And, uh, you know, go to my Twitter. You can see some of the charity picks. And we're going to be releasing a, a movie, a video of all the charity giveaways that we did yesterday. We took the whole day to do it. It's really tiring, guys. You're going to love it. And guys, don't forget to check out the wife's channel, Zen Music Addict. Go there right now. Subscribe. This is Chili Willy Music. Make you relax. And guys, get it. And don't forget to check out my merch and merch. We got hats. We got hoodies. We got t-shirts. All that stuff. All of this goes to charity, guys. You're going to love it. I love it. And don't forget to go and buy the mug. The mug is filled with happiness, filled with love. Guys, so this is the OG in the house. Doge going to the moon, guys. I'm working for you. Spread a little bit of love. Support the channel any way you can, guys. So I'll see you in the next one. Woo!